guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about Black Friday shopping. Well, we shouldn't call it Black Friday shopping because the whole purpose about that is that there's sales on top of sales on top of sales. And this year was a disappointment to all of the stores that I went to. Let me just tell you something, like a little fact about, I think it was like, I'm not sure if I went last year. I might have, but I don't remember. But two years ago on Black Friday shopping, I always go to my favorite spot and that's Forever 21. The reason being is because they have big sales. Like I usually get, not exaggerating, like maybe a little bit over 20 shirts and under a hundred dollars. This year, however, I walked into Forever 21 confident that I was gonna find me some sales and little did I know I was gonna get a kick in the you know what. So pretty much, there was no sales. I think the store was like 30% off. I don't remember because I was just so pissed off. I was like, are you kidding me? These are not sales. Um, I guess I was more pissed off because I'm so used to buying and going and seeing sales. Um, every year and this year was not it. I was really disappointed with Black Friday so I started calling it Whack Friday. But I did get the day off at work and I was not about to waste my day. So I went ahead and did. The neighbor's dogs are fighting if you did hear that in the video. So I decided, okay, you're already here. Might as well do some regular shopping. So I wanted to buy something. I didn't want to come home with nothing. So I was like, okay, whatever, screw it. We're not going to call it Black Friday shopping. I was like, we're just going to call it regular shopping because obviously it's not Black Friday. I'm sure electronics and those other departments, maybe they had better sales. But when it came to clothing, none of the stores like had any sales. Like Forever 21 had like two or three racks. Or like what they usually have but like their shirts were ripped they had mostly like summer clothes um i'm not sure but usually when i go they have like knitted sweaters for sale like like more decent clothes so definitely for which one was a disappointment honestly i don't think i'm gonna be going black friday shopping next year because it was whack but anyways before we get into the video before i show you what i bought uh, let me do my introduction because I got a little carried away with my rant, but my name's Blanca if you're new to the channel um, I try to post a video every Monday. I know I've been gone, but it's so busy because I am a wife I do work 40 hours a week So and I do cook every single day excluding the weekends because that, those are my day for me Even though I still work. I don't do the cooking on the weekends that belongs, that responsibility belongs to Diego to take me out to eat on the weekends because I cannot be cooking seven days a week. And sometimes I still will make stuff like if we decide like, oh, let's eat pancakes at home or like an egg or anything. So I do keep busy. It's really hard as well for me to get up super, super early in the morning. Like today I was like, I'm going to get up before Diego goes to work. I'm going to film, I'm going to edit, and then I'm going to post. But... I was very tired because we went to a little car meet yesterday, my first one ever. I don't want to comment on that yet. I feel like when you first do things the first time around, it's not a, it's not the same as trying it again because, you know, you can't really get a feel for things unless you try it twice. So maybe we'll be trying that twice. But anyways, like I said, my name's Blanca. I try to post a video every single Monday. If I don't, I apologize. But I'm going to really, really try to start posting every single Monday. Um, and yeah, so today basically I'm going to show you guys what I got. And it wasn't sell price. I'm not really going to talk about the prices and stuff because there's no point to it. It was not Black Friday shopping for me. Um, they probably will have better sales today on Cyber Monday. So, um, yeah, let's get right into the video, and I am in my pajamas. I'm not ashamed. I love these pajamas. They're warm, and I just woke up. I'm just starting to get ready for my day, which is go to work, cook, and that's it. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and make sure you comment down below if you like this video. Comment down below if you went Black Friday shopping and you did not find any sales, or if you did, let me know. So if I do decide to go next year, I know where to go because I will not be going to Forever 21 again, at least on Black Friday. 
But uh, yeah, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And let's get right into the video. Okay, and just so you know, I not only went to Forever 21, Fashion Q at the mall, I went to Charlotte Russe. I went to two malls. I went to Charlotte Russe. I went to Fashion Q. I went to Hollister. Hollister had, I believe, 50% off the jeans or the whole store. I'm not too sure. But either way, I bought something because I love Hollister. Um... And I also went to Victoria's Secret. They had sales, but not the greatest. They have better ones for um, regular occasion. And I also went to Ross. They had no sales, but if you ever go to Ross, like, their prices are pretty decent anyway. And I'm not ashamed to say I shop at Ross because they have some good stuff, okay? So I will be showing you guys, and then I will be trying them on. This is the bag from Charlotte Ruth. And they also gave me a coupon too, which I probably will not be using. They had some sales, I guess better than all the other stores I went to, but it wasn't like, to me it wasn't like the greatest like amount of selection of clothes. I don't know what happened, but I got this shirt. And it's kind of like a, kind of like a crop top in the front. And the back is long. And for this one, I paid $4.99, so I thought that was pretty good. Like, who doesn't want something for $4.99, you know? And I got this one as well there. Um, I just thought, why not? It's winter, technically. And, yeah, I thought this was pretty cute. This was $9.99, so it was a little bit more, of, like, up there. And this one, I know what you're going to say. Blanca, it's not summer, but Blanca doesn't care about what it is. I got this skirt. It's actually pretty nice. It fit pretty decent. And this one I paid also $9.99. I was like, either way, like, I live in California. It's hot sometimes, so I will be wearing this probably later on when it's hot. Maybe not anymore because it's actually getting cold already, but who doesn't need a denim skirt? I'm not an impulsive shopper, I promise. Let's get into Fashion Q. So what I got, a Fashion Q, they had like two racks, and they, I believe it was like um, $9.99 and under. So I was like, okay. So I just looked there, and I didn't really look at the other stuff in the store, because if I wanted to go regular shopping, I would have gone on a day that's not Black Friday. So I got this shirt. It's like a long sleeve, cropped, striped shirt. And I paid $6.99 for it, which is not too bad. I wasn't too, like, mad about it. Uh, I think I only got two things at this store. And I got this as well. I said I wasn't going to talk about the prices, but that comes down to like the regular stuff price that I bought. And then I got this shirt. It's long sleeve. I can wear it in the winter. I thought it was really cute. It's like open on this side. Maybe a pair with some really nice like jeans, some black jeans or regular. And some really cute boots. I mean, why not? I paid... Did I say I paid? Yeah, I paid $9.99 for this one. So that was what I got at Q. Okay. We're going to get into Hollister. At Hollister, I only bought two pairs of jeans. And I'm trying a new style. It's not new to them. It's new to me. They're called jean leggings. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. So what they do is they're very stretchy. And unlike regular pants, I'm pretty sure these do not get loose. Because if you do own a pair of jeans, you do know that jeans end up getting loose. Like towards like the end of the day. So I got some jeggings. Because I like, you know, jeans, leggings, jeggings. And I got this one right here. I thought this one's pretty cute. And I paid like 60 something dollars. Like I said, they weren't like... It's better when you buy them for 25 but like I said, I was already there and I wasn't about to like go home empty-handed. And I got these as well. These were my favorite. They stretch really, really well. And they fit good. So that's what I got at Hollister. And since I spent more than $50, if you're part of the uh, Cali Club, you get a tote. I got this tote and it says Black Friday, but I might just, uh, I'm thinking about it like, Replacing the black with the whack Friday, but I'm not sure yet. So yeah, that's what I got at Hollister. And I got some coupons too, so if I don't forget, I'll be using them. At Ross, I didn't get this on Black Black Friday. I got this on Saturday or was it Sunday? I don't remember anymore. 
But I also bought this, which I already wore. If you follow me on Instagram, this was what I was wearing when I took that selfie with my uh, Miara. Because it's mine, you know. Um, it's a really fluffy, cute sweater. This one was a uh, regular price, obviously, because at Ross, I don't think they have any sales except for the clearance section. But, yeah. Um, I actually saw this sweater, like, probably, like, two weeks ago or a week ago. Yeah, it was, like, a week ago. I had already been to Ross, and I saw this sweater, and I really, really, really wanted it in gray, not in this color. But still, I wanted it in gray because I love gray, as you can tell, my room. It's gray. My car is gray. My underwear is gray. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know what underwear I'm wearing. Seriously, um, I really want this sweater. It's super, super soft. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's really soft and it's really warm. And yeah, I got this. And then I like going for sweats there. Like I know most girls are like, oh, Victoria's Secret sweats and Victoria's Secret leggings. Well, I'm not about to pay that much money for it. But I got these sweats. They're super cute, and you guys will see right now. Um, and they're super cheap. Their sweats are super cheap, as well as their leggings. This was $9.99. I really wanted these in gray as well, but they did not have my size in gray. So I had to go with the pink, but I'm not mad about it. They looked all right. And I got this pair of leggings. This one's worth $6.99. And it's pretty good material. They fit well. And they also come with little pockets for your cell phones. So yeah, if you're not willing to spend that much money on leggings, I would suggest going to Ross because they have good stuff. And you guys will see right now. So that's, um, I was about to say that's all I got at Ross, but it would be a lie. Look at what I got at Ross. You guys are going to die. If you love Spongebob, you're going to die. They have, like, I'm saying run to Ross right now, okay? If you want to give this as a gift, get it for yourself. It doesn't freaking matter. If you have like an exchange at work, these are the cutest. They have lots of themes to like other shows. I know they had Arnold. They had Quagmire. So definitely go to Ross. Run to Ross. This is an easy gift for Christmas. This was an easy gift to me from Diego. But anyways, these were $4.99, and it's Mr. Krabs and Squidward. It's the best. This is my favorite item of this weekend when I went shopping. But yes, definitely go. I'm going to go back, and I'll probably give some of those gifts. And then the last thing, last store, was Victoria's Secret. So you're going to you're gonna be wondering what I bought at Victoria's Secret. The only uh, reason why I go to Victoria's Secret is for the intimates. And I don't mean like the sexy stuff. Like, no. I mean like, for that I go somewhere else. But for this, it's the underwear. The underwear are amazing. They're good for you. Make sure like, you check what material you're getting for your underwear. Because it's very important. Just Google like, because I don't want to talk about it on this video. Just Google it and you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyways, what I got here was underwear, so I'm just going to show them to you. I'm definitely not going to try them on. <laughs> just going to show them to you. And they were, um, where's the receipt? For these, the special they had was, I believe, 5 for 28 And then I also got some lip glosses. But, um, I got this one. And my opinion to you guys or my advice to you guys is get um I don't like full underwear like I mean they're good you know for like your lady days but I don't like them that much like as a regular use because they turn in thongs anyway I mean I'm not saying I bought thongs but at least get the cheeky ones that way like get the ones that are already in there so you don't have to be worrying about them going in there I mean girls will know what I'm talking about I got these. They look huge. <laughs> they look so big on camera. <laughs> but I mean, they fit. So, and I also got these. And I got these. Super cute. Really shimmery, nice colors. And I also got, ooh, and I also got these. And just the two lip glosses and 
and just two lip glosses. They were $10. Well, the retail price is $10, but you buy one, you get one free. So I was like, why not? I'm going to get some lip glosses. So it's a Total Shine Addict. And I'm not sure if you guys have tried them. This is my first time trying them. I hope I like them. They were recommended by Evelyn because she only gets uh, Victoria's Secret lip glosses, you know, because she's fancy pantsy over there. But yeah, now I am going to try this stuff on so we can get the show on the road. That's all that I could buy on Whack Friday shopping. To me, it was regular shopping. Let me know how it went for you guys. Maybe you guys found some sales. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. There will be more videos coming. Like I said, I am going to try to post every single Monday. But I'm quite busy. But I will make it a priority and stop snacking. Comment down below which was your favorite uh, garment or outfits because they kind of look like outfits because I tried the jeans on with all the shirts um but yeah let me know what you think if you have any questions about any of the um items if you want to know how much they were if I didn't already say it let me know and if you have any suggestions for videos as well let me know and before I close out today's video I just want to give a big thanks to anyone that has watched my Hollister jean cell try on video I never thought well, I mean, I was hoping I would get, but I never in my life imagined it would happen like this fast. Like my video is at a thousand, over a thousand views. And to me, that's just amazing. You know, probably to the big YouTubers, it's like a dollar. And to me, it's like a hundred dollars. But um, anyways, I just really, really want to thank anybody that watched. If you haven't already watched it, then go ahead and watch that video. And I just want to like... I just wanted to say that I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I'm very excited. I hope it gets 2,000. It's still getting views and every single day consistently. So I truly, truly hope it gets to 2K. But I was very, very happy with that. I just woke up one morning and I was like, holy shit. Like my video is like at 1,000 views. To me, that's just like a milestone period. But yeah, um, definitely subscribe if you're new to this channel like comment share so yeah um that'll be all for today's video i truly hope that you guys liked it and i'll see you guys next video bye